Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariam. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am doing this look for you guys today using the new collaboration collection by Desi and Katie with Dose of Colors. I am so, so excited about this collection. I can't even express to you guys. I've known Desi and Katie for some time now a long time in influencer years. They are amazing. Their friendship is 1000% real. They are inseparable and that energy, it translates. It translates into amazing videos. It translates into great content. And now finally, amazing products. Lee and I actually flew out to LA to attend their launch party with Dose of Colors. Jackie's birthday party was the following day. We even stayed with Patrick. And I'm so, so happy that we made that trip because I actually got my hands on their collection. Yes, here it is. And this is what it looks like. So stunning, every girl's dream. I could go on and on. I'm gonna cut myself short because I tend to talk a lot. I'm gonna jump to this tutorial. I'm gonna get into this review. So I hope you enjoy this one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. That said, I'm gonna cheers to you with my Modelo because that's what Desi and Katie had at their launch party. So cheers, let's get to the tutorial. To prep my skin today, I'm gonna be using this Rose Caviar Essence from Pixi. It's a really nice light moisturizer, perfect for oily skin, great for normal skin. Feels like water on the skin and smells so nice. Mm, it's like a spa for your face. Next, I'm gonna use my step one primer from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna warm it up real quick and then apply it just to the center of my face, to my porous areas, and to any of these bumps that need a little bit of smoothing. Did I say smoothing primer? I hope I did, because that's what it is. I am going rather quickly in this video because it's really not about the face. I really want to get to the good part, which is the Desi Katie collab. So I'm using this Hourglass foundation in the color sand all over my face. I'm just dotting it on all over my neck too. It's a really great foundation. I've been using it a lot ever since I went to LA with Hourglass for their launch of their lipsticks. It's just a great foundation to travel with. Blends so easily. The coverage is really full, full. And it comes with this really dope brush, which is like a serious brush, by the way. It's not like one of those flimsy little brushes that comes with products. This one is really decent. I'm gonna take a slightly darker shade, Golden Amber. I'm gonna contour just the perimeter of my face. That's it. Blend it out with the same brush. Nice and easy. Looking rather good for my concealer today. I'm gonna be using NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard to brighten a bit. And then I'm gonna use this Real Technique sponge to blend everything out. The sponge is nice and clean, so it's nice and plump. You can get this one at Ulta, I believe. While you're there, you can check out my gondola display with Tarte, if you haven't already, or their Amazonian Clay Stick Foundation, which is actually very similar to the Hourglass that I'm using today. Also gonna to take some of this concealer and just apply it to the eye. I'm not gonna be using primer today. This is a new technique that I learned from Patrick Starr. I stayed with him for a couple of days in LA. We were doing makeup side by side and I was like, wow, you don't use primer like ever at all. And he was telling me that using a primer sometimes changes the real texture of the eyeshadow or of the foundation that you're gonna wear. So if you don't wanna do that, you may want to skip primer. But he taught me a really clever trick that I'm gonna be using today. And I'm gonna show you that trick right now. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of powder. This is Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightening Powder. I'm gonna apply it to my under eye. And I'm also going to apply it to my lid to set the concealer on top of my lid. This is what Patrick does, and I've been doing it ever since he taught me. It seems to really be working. And I feel like it doesn't jeopardize the integrity of the products that I'm applying on top, such as eyeshadow. So I've really been liking this technique. And yes, it even works with oily lids, because trust me, no one's lids are more oily than mine. If it works on me, it'll work on you. Also gonna set this area right around my nose. Seems to always crease, and it's so annoying when it does. Still using the same under eye brightening powder. You don't have to use that one. You can use whatever you typically use for your face. This is just what I have handy, so it's fine. I'm gonna take a little bit of this HD powder by Makeup Forever. 
and I'm just gonna swirl it, adding this to my porous zones, to the areas where I have breakouts and bumps, because this powder is really great for smoothing. Sadly, the Makeup Forever HD powder does have flashback, so I'm gonna use a little bit of my Estee Lauder Rattan just on top to make sure we avoid that issue. Then I'm gonna take that small little brush, and I'm just gonna conceal this area around this big old pimple. Because this pimple is bumpy, so I'm trying to resurface it a little bit, if you know what I mean. This is a trick that I learned from Desi herself, watching her acne coverage video, which was brilliant, by the way, one of my favorite videos to date. So many great tricks. Get better already. To warm up my complexion, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of City Kitty from my Strobe and Bronze collab palette with Pixi. Gonna apply it to the sides of my forehead. Wanna make it a little bit more dimensional, a little bit more tan looking. I have not gotten any color this summer, like zero sun. We've probably been to LA like maybe 20 times in the last two years. We've only gone to the beach once. We need to fix that. I have not even been to the beach in Staten Island this year. And my dad like literally lives on the beach. So inappropriate. Let me add that across the cheeks too. Just give myself a little bit more color. Speaking of warmth and sun, I'm gonna pick up Becca's Sun Chaser palette. Really lovely and they have this great blush in here. I'm just gonna add it to the center of my cheeks. And now I think we finally come to the fun part of this video. Take out my Desi Katie collab box. Ooh. Here it is. Here they are, glowing, gorgeous, sun-kissed. And of course, I'm gonna start with the highlighters. It came out with two highlighters. One of them is Mirame, super gorgeous, bronzy type of highlighter. Swatch is really lovely. And it's perfect for anyone who has medium to deep skin. So it's not gonna cast that super weird pale shadow when you apply it on. And if I turn to the side, you're not gonna see it. It kind of just disappears with my skin. You see that? The second highlighter that they came out with is Fuego. This is how it swatches on my arm. Can you guys see? Ooh, so nice. This is more of a traditional champagne golden tone highlighter. Also very blingy. This is the shade that I would put on my cupid's bow. So nice. Real quick guys, can we talk about this packaging? Can we talk about how diva this packaging is? Sort of makes you feel like a queen, pulling it out of your makeup bag and checking yourself out in the mirror, doesn't it? My makeup is done, the highlighter is on. It's done, right? I just filled in my eyebrows real quick and I also applied the same shade from my palette, City Kitty Bronzer, to my crease and to my eye socket just to give my eye a little bit of dimension before I actually use the Desi Katie Quad. Their eyeshadow quad actually doesn't have any crease colors. These colors that they have here are all lid colors or pop colors, very beautiful metallics to be worn on the lid to give your eye that necessary bling. Obviously, I've used these before. You can see these aren't perfectly brand new, but this is my first time using them on YouTube, so I'm very, very excited. I always have to have this card next to me because I need to remind myself which are the shades that have to be worn wet. Suze and Harpoon, named after Desi's and Katie's dogs. So cute. Pick up a little bit of Suze on this teeny tiny little brush. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'm gonna start adding it to the inner corner. Wow. Do you see how nicely it glides? Girl. Oh my God, it is like liquid liner. Whoa. I'm not really sure what kind of a look I wanna create with these shadows just yet, but I think I wanna utilize this wet shadow feature. With a wet shadow, you can even cut a cut crease. Ooh, that is hot fire indeed. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Noli. I'm gonna apply it with my finger straight to the center of my lid. I'm not gonna do the cut crease all the way, just in the middle, just in the inner part and the rest is gonna be a gradient, from sharp to diffused. Next, I'm gonna take Harpoon. This is another shade that is meant to be wet. Just gonna create a little <laughs> mixture on the back of my hand here. And I'm gonna apply it to the very outer corner of this eye look. Definitely is the color of Dallas. I love it. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Harpoon on a wet brush and I'm gonna apply it to my lower lash line. So I'm pretty satisfied with the way that eyeshadows look at this point. I think I'm done with the palette for this look. I'm just gonna add a little bit of black eyeshadow to the outer corners just to deepen it a bit and maybe some liner, I don't know. And once I'm done that, I will be right back. I used the black from the Nicole Concilio palette. And by the way, you can check out my collab with Nicole 
right here, we're testing out weird beauty products. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to click right there. But wait until the end of the video. All right, so the eye look is essentially done. All I'm gonna do is apply my lashes, mascara, and maybe a little bit of waterline liner just to make it a little bit more sultry. If I had to give this palette a criticism, I wish there was a black eyeshadow in this palette. But then again, it wouldn't be a quad. It would have to be a six pan eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So I don't think that was the point of this palette. Therefore, it's not really a criticism. It's just something that I would like for myself. Not really an issue. Using this new mascara from It Cosmetics, which is actually very dramatic. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of Stila Lion Fish waterproof liner just to the bottom of my eye, to my waterline. For my falsies, I'm gonna use these um, nice spaced out falsies by Pure Cosmetics in the style Jet Setter. Moving right along to the lippies, there are several lippy options. There are two beautiful nudes. This is the darker nude. More creamer, please. And this here is the lighter nude. No shade, no shade. I've always loved the quality of Dose of Colors lipsticks, especially their nudes. These two are no different. They smell amazing. They're very pigmented, very creamy, just beautiful formula off the bat. So there's also this really beautiful clear gloss with lots of gold sparkles. And there's also two liquid lipsticks, both of which come in this nude tube. Here's the red and here's the wine color. Sauvage is the wine, Hot Fire is the red. I've already tried Sauvage, it's beautiful. Those of colors lipsticks are some of my favorite mattes, liquid mattes. So I think I'm gonna go for this vibrant hot fire. I do wish I could see the colors. Maybe if the stickers were the colors of the lipsticks, but that's just me. Maybe it's just because I have way too many lipsticks. I don't think it's a major setback whatsoever. So I'm gonna outline my lips with this Laura Mercier Warm Poppy Pencil. Ooh, I love this color so much. I haven't seen anything like this in the Dose of Colors range. This is a really beautiful, unique shade. It reminds me a little bit of orange, but it's better. It makes your skin glow golden. I feel like it's very Desi, very Katie, very on trend, very on brand. I might even like it more than the Sauvage, which I am obsessed with. I don't know, I can't tell, but I do love this color. I'm wondering if I should add just a little bit of this over the top gloss to the center of my bottom lip. Kind of want to. Just gonna swatch a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't want to dirty up the wand. Oh yeah. All right guys, we have come to the end of the video. This is the final look using the Desi X Katie collection with Dose of Colors. I think this look is great. I think it's perfect for this transition between summer to fall. I couldn't be more proud of Desi and Katie and Anna from Dose of Colors for getting together, for creating all these masterpieces. And to be quite honest with you, I couldn't expect any less or any more for that matter. These girls know what they're doing. They're all seasoned makeup artists. So these products are top notch. I highly recommend them. They're perfect for this summer to fall transition. The colors are so bomb. They're so bling. They're perfect for this time of the year. I was so excited for this collection just as I would be for my own. Because when you're in this industry, when you're surrounded by people who work so hard, who are so dedicated to their craft, you are so inspired and so motivated by what they do. And that's exactly how I feel using their collab, applying these products, creating this video for you guys. It's almost a surreal kind of feeling. I feel very happy for them. I'm so proud of the work that they've accomplished. I'm obsessed with this collection, as you can tell, and I can't wait to keep wearing it and keep creating looks for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed my review. I hope you liked my take on it. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you like what you see and I hope you hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos, which I will link right here. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Love you guys.